Hello, beautiful soul. <clears throat> I feel like I cannot drink enough water at this moment. I feel like I've been drinking so much and it's not enough. I'm so parched. Hello, how's your day going? Welcome to this moment. Actually, I love it. Welcome to this moment with yourself. This moment here with me. Thank you for being here. I've received some wonderful downloads and messages today. Oh my goodness. It's been something great. Oh, I'm so grateful for the freedom and the life and the vision and the opportunity and the awareness and the self-love to be able to take the time to receive what it is that I need. I'm not going to lie. It's very, it's, it's a... It's a tough process letting go and allowing something outside of yourself to align you with where you're going next. Though tough, rewarding, quite rewarding as we get to vibrationally align with the surprises that life has for us rather than just being oh my goodness it's so amazing you get to feel how amazing it truly is and it all starts with self-love getting to know yourself getting to know yourself Getting to know who you are. Wow. That's spirituality. Separating your soul from the humanness. From the God that you worship. Who are you? Who are you, beautiful soul? Hmm? Dare to figure that out. Dare to look within and figure that out. Apart from your parents, apart from your pastors, your priests, your books that tell you who you are, who are you? Have the courage, the audacity to figure that out. <clears throat> breathe into that Ooh, breathe in mm. bless the stillness bless the stillness that I have acquired Honestly, a younger me wouldn't know, would not recognize me because of how, how much I have transformed. <laughs> but she loves her and we love her. And all is well. We are proud. You know, there's always an aspect of making the self proud. 
as long as myself is proud as long as my younger self is proud my inner child as long as she's proud <laughs> uh, we'll be okay we will be okay so this is actually like super trancy music for me so i'm gonna change it because i want it to be a little bit more upbeat in line with where i wanna be just a little bit more please a little more tempo mm. <laughs> so let me let me do that and as I do so, just take the moment to feel into your body, into your soul, into your spirit. How are you feeling today? How are you showing up into the world today? feeling today the Miriam yeah we can do that the Miriam tribe dance <laughs> absolutely when's the last time you danced has it been soon recently So, in our self-love and meditation time, we always take the time to honor ourselves. This is the 22nd episode. Oh my goodness. I commend myself for showing up for 22 days. Oh my gosh. That's amazing because, well, it can be difficult to be consistent with some things. I'm sure many of you can uh, resonate and agree that starting something definitely takes, it, it's a doozy, okay? It takes a few rounds before you're able to truly embody and saturate what it is you want to activate. And your mind, body, and soul all have to be on the same page in order for this thing, this venture, this creation, to indeed activate and be of its best form and so um with that wow well, i didn't even really I, I don't know <laughs> with that um starting something new and sticking to it for even more than 10 days is something to be commended for and to be Pat yourself on the back and I'm doing that because that's wonderful um, I created a whole book about habit tracking about how to track habits in order to embody your highest self your highest self that you get to this is so weird I don't know why that's there <laughs> your highest self so here's the thing your daily actions your daily committals lead you to who you are intending to be i'm dying i don't know why that word's so funny committals <laughs> are creating who you are becoming okay It's not just gonna come to you. The idea is for you taking action is not just going to come to you. You just aligning with the values that are going to create someone who is successful at this very thing. It's not just gonna come to you. You're gonna have to do some groundwork. There's an idea, there's a thought. Yes, I wanna make this happen, but what is next? Lay it out lay out the plans each step that it takes to make such 
happen, okay? As it sprouts, as it grows, you are tending to each and every variable, each and every one. Every single day you are committing to each task that is going to lead you to your higher self. And every single element is important. Some days you're going to want to show up to only these three and be like, I don't, I, I don't want to do anything else. You ground yourself back to the purpose, back to the reason why those tasks are there in the first place. And so during the training, during the book that I've written, we take embodiment time, embodiment sessions, to and to think about what how, to think about each task what it looks like what it smells like how you feel afterwards um what what each task is going to bring like why are you doing it what is it going to bring and we take the mindful time and write it down and make it happen it's something wonderful this thing i've created it's a year old now actually and um, it's helped so many people and it just makes me so happy when they come around and they see that the habit tracking book it helps so much because it's one thing to want to to track something and it's another thing to actually embody what it is you're tracking. I'm sure we all can 12 12 I'm sure we all can um, resonate with starting something but even starting a habit tracker printing off a habit tracker and being like all right i'm gonna do this but tell me what is gonna make you show up for your habit tracker every day okay what is going to remind you to come back to this habit tracker because most of the time print it off you're all ready you're all excited and all of a sudden it gets buried under everything and it means nothing anymore so I cover this all in the book. We, you're gonna hang your habit tracker on the wall. You're going to um, use different colors to embody purpose into each and every task. You're going to know the purpose for each and every task for when you show up to those days of like, I only wanna do these three things. Okay, cool, but you said to be the most, the most successful and to be your highest self that you had to do all five of these things. And yes, it's okay. We have grace moments too. These are built in grace moments. It is okay if you do not want to do those two things. Just admit to yourself and be in full acceptance and grace that you don't want to work in the highest expression for your highest self. You don't want to work for the 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 embodiment that you are going for you don't want to work for that today you did get all five yesterday and that's wonderful today you don't want to go all out on your goals you don't and that's okay and so you have that meeting with yourself and then from there you get to say all right so i'm gonna go spend my day how i want to go spend my day since i'm not gonna do my work i'm at least gonna go enjoy my day with no guilt none you want a day off you take it off but what we're not going to do is half-ass and keep showing up half-ass completely neglecting the other ones because it worked out you know you did the three and then now you got to go do your own thing and then soon enough soon enough you're not doing any of the task anymore a habit tracker keeps you in alignment with the tasks that are going to lead you to your higher self. We teach how you, you're going to mindset yourself through this, how your mindset is going to shift when it comes to habit tracking and when it comes to, to um, embodying who you are becoming. It's the most beautiful thing, it's powerful. It's what helps me become who I am, is habit tracking. Um, and let me give you a, a vision into the future. Once you have done these tasks and you've embodied these for about three, four, five months, a year, I did it for a couple years. I did it for like a year and a half. But um, once you get it, then now it's just part of you. Once it's a habit, it's just part of you. You don't need to track anymore. You're just free. You have 
trained yourself, molded yourself into the person that you have become. Look down, look around, look, look at you. Look at what you've done. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I'm so passionate about it and I love it so much. And that's just what came up and I, I've been talking about it this whole time, but I hope that you have found value in it and, and that you're excited to start your um, habit tracking. There are nine tasks that you get to brainstorm and come up with that are going to lead you to your higher self. Um, and you're gonna learn more about that at Melamind dot com slash habits and wow there are just so many resources including downloadable trackers and preloaded trackers so spirituality trackers and i uh, have a fitness tracker on there that i just added i and i thought of some new tracker ideas too of um challenge trackers okay go outside and talk to a uh, talk to somebody on your your on your street or um buy something for someone I don't know it'd be cool to cool to brainstorm and see I would just love it so anyway that is the download of today you know I press record and that's just what came is habit tracking you're so close you were so close to your next life and I always say that we're a mind mindset session away a mindfulness session away from from our next version of ourselves literally just sitting down and writing down what's next now you know now your brain knows and now your brain gets to invite your body to it and your body's like okay what does this mean well i don't know let's try it and then you start trying it and you start doing it you're like oh wow i'm i'm actually doing the task okay and then your soul's out there like why are you doing this why are you doing this task and the mind and the body the mind and the body are always together and uh, not always together but they're the easiest to bind and um those two are together like, well, she said to do it, so we're doing it. <laughs> and so it's, it's that robotic like autopilot. And then so that's kind of why uh, people will get into that, um, the burnt out stage of like, I'm gonna move this out of the sun. The burnt out stage of like, I don't wanna do this anymore. What am I doing this for? And it's like, well, you didn't tie your purpose to these actions. And so you're just on this, this machine essentially for no reason, you know, at least before when you were in school and church and, and, um, and parents, they may have given you a reason of why you're doing something, maybe, sometimes not, but you felt like there was a reason. But now that you're reprogramming yourself, uh, you you can't just jump into something and expect your soul to be part of it. All three must be part of the initiation. Always. Always. Um, so, mind, body, and soul, by the way. Mind, body, and soul. Mindset, body, and soul must all be in alignment with what you have going on forward and so we address that in the book and we get to know ourselves yeah <laughs> you did not see that coming neither did I I just I just be I'm going to be quiet I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to invite you to Breathe into your body, wherever you may be, holding space for others, holding space for a you that you, you're th overthinking about, possibly. And uh, release. We're going to release that pressure within. That's keeping you from just being, from simply being you. <laughs> Oh, and what a wonderful thing, self, to be you. You're amazing. So amazing. If no one told you today, you are loved, you are cherished, you are honored. 
Mm, deep breath, take all of that in. Inhale what you need right now. Breathe in whatever you need right now. Whatever you need to feel yourself. Whatever you need to feel your soul, beautiful soul. Mm, it's all within you. Breathe to activate it. Breathe to activate within what it is that you desire. And exhale any stagnancy, anything that no longer serves you, that no longer serves your vessel, that no longer serves your timeline, your existence, your present moment, mm, who you are. Feel that access. Feel that access to source that is all yours.
invite a deep breath into your vessel. source of everything you need, everything you desire, it's all yours. brought to your soul. Aw, oh, hi, Angelina. I'm about to end, but oh my goodness, I'm so happy to see you here. We're just breathing love into our vessel, into our bodies. Breathing all that love. <laughs> deep breath and just thank yourself for taking this moment for taking this time for you mm. Mm. breathing intentional breath As you take this pause in the middle of your day before going back into the wild roller coaster of life, this moment is for you. <laughs> What a perfect just moment in time. Just breathing before your food, breathing before you eat, and then just having a mindful lunch. Love that for you. that love Ooh. and just always remember that you are the source of your light you are the power of your light of your being of where you are no matter where you are you have access to this source to this power to this breath Everything you desire is all yours. And thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you give yourself love. Find so many ways to love yourself today. And enjoy your meal. <laughs> okay.